Hello, welcome back to Aperture BMX. My name's Alex. Today I'm going to talk about the camera gear that I use to film BMX racing on this channel. Okay, so let's start with my camera, which is a Lumix G7 by Panasonic. This camera, as soon as I started using it, I just, you know, it was love at first sight. You know, I love using this camera. It's a Micro Four Thirds camera, so the sensor is slightly smaller than a, you know, a 35 millimeter full frame camera. But you know what, I don't care. The reason that I picked this camera, one of the big reasons I picked this camera, is because it's small. You know, I want a setup that I can just take with me wherever, throw it into like a, you know, like a, a day pack, take it with me to the track and then, you know, start filming. This camera it does shoot 4K. I don't shoot in 4K though, I shoot in 1080p. Um, 1080p 50 frames a second, because, you know, BMX is a fast sport. So I guess, you know, shooting in higher frame rate is a good thing and it lets you slow down the footage as well so you can get you know nice slow motion and things like that this camera is not meant to be waterproof but you might have seen the footage from the gosport regional 2019 regional where you know it was raining it was storming it was windy and this camera got absolutely drenched and it still kept working so it's not meant to be waterproof but somebody didn't tell the camera that so this is what i use to film most of the footage no actually all the footage on this channel so these are the two other lenses that I have. The one in the camera at the moment, which is filming this, is the uh, kit lens, the 14 to 42 millimeter kit lens. Um, however, late last year, I wanted a lens that had a slightly wider aperture to let more light in so I could film at nighttime because I was filming racing, racing under the lights. So I bought this lens. This is the Panasonic Lumix 42.5 millimeter F1.7 lens. Um, 42.5 millimeter is a great focal length for filming BMX racing because it lets you basically capture the whole of the track. Everything from, you know, the far side of the track to where you are to the near side of the track, you know, everything in between. You know, if you've got track access or if you're just standing by, you know, by the side of a the track, then this will let you capture everything that's going on on the track. Um, it's a nice solid lens. Take the back off here and you'll see that it's got, you know, it's got a metal, uh, metal plate back here and um, take, the, uh, take the lens cup, cap off. So yep, nice and wide. It's really good glass, really sharp as well. And yeah, this is the lens that I use now to film you know, the track action when the racing actually starts. Okay, the other lens in my setup is this lens. This is the Lumix 45 to 150 zoom lens. So this lens does actually zoom in and out. Um, I've used this lens a few times on the channel. Um, I'm not sure actually if I'm going to keep it for much longer because recently I haven't really been using this lens. Um, it's not the most wide open lens. I think it's an f4, um, f, f4 to 5.6. Yeah, so it's not the most open lens out there, but you know, it's a good lens. It'll take great footage. Um, if, you, if you watch the Brits Day 2 footage, um, basically I use this lens for the whole of that, more or less, especially the racing. Okay, next let's talk about microphones. Um, I've got this microphone. This is the Rode Video Micro. Um, this is a really good microphone, actually. It's again, it's inexpensive. That's a theme throughout my, you know, throughout my gear. It doesn't cost that much, you know. Individually, the bits don't cost that much, um, you know, relative to other camera equipment. But they're still really good. Um, this is what the, the mic looks like. I wouldn't use it like this. I usually keep the dead cat on. Um, but yeah, it's a solid microphone, it's metal. So yeah, um, really good microphone, really handy for filming just about anything on a track and off a track too. Okay, so let's talk about filters for a moment. Um, I've got two filters here. This is an NDX and this is a CPL. Um, NDX is just basically sunglasses for your lens. That's how it's always referred to. And basically the idea is that you t this is a NDX because the X means it's a variable filter. So when you twist it, you can see it gets darker and you twist it the other way, it gets lighter. So when you want to open up the aperture on your lens, um, you know, if it's a sunny day, for example, you want a nice, you know, blurry background, um, but you can't, you know, you, you can't quite do that normally because it would let loads of light into the camera, it blows out the image. Then you stick one of these on the front, you turn down the amount of light going into the camera and it means that you can open up your lens without blowing out the image. So basically, yeah, it's sunglasses for your lens. 
Okay, the other filter is a CPL, a circular polarizing filter. This is basically used for getting rid of reflections. It doesn't get rid of all reflections, but it gets rid of a lot of them when you're filming into water or if you're filming through a window, that kind of thing. Um, and it also kind of makes the colors look a little bit deeper as well. Um, I use this every now and then when I need, you know, when I need it for the shot that I want. Um, otherwise, I don't actually use it as much. But it's handy to have, it's definitely handy to have in the, in the kit. Okay, finally, let's talk about accessories. So in my kit, there's no more than three of anything. That goes for lenses, batteries, memory cards, cameras, eventually. Uh, there's no more than three of anything, which I call the rule of three. And that forces me to really think about what it is that I'm buying for the kit. So if I were to buy a fourth lens, then I'd have to sell one of my lenses that I already have. Um, so yeah, no more than three of anything. So let's talk about all this stuff that's here on the table. First of all, memory cards. Um, I have three SanDisk memory cards. Obviously one's in the camera right now. I also have these batteries. Um, this is the Lumix official battery that you get with the camera. And this is a Duracell battery, which is basically a third party copy. I've got three of these, obviously again, one's in the camera. Um, I've got three of these batteries and that easily lasts me an entire day of, of filming racing. In fact, I don't think I've actually used all three batteries all the way down to, you know, all the way down to dead. Okay, I also have this cable, which is the cable you get with the camera. It's just to plug it into a computer or whatever, you know, if you need to transfer files. I often don't have to do that, but I just have it if I need it. This is an SD card reader. If I'm, you know, if I need to put an SD card into a computer that doesn't have an SD card reader slot, then I can use this, plug it into USB, put an SD card in there and, you know, sort it. This is a battery charger. This is actually a German brand, Patona. Um, I actually got this from a Czech online shop. Um, it's really, really lightweight, practically weighs nothing. And what you do is you plug this into USB um, and then put two batteries in there, let it charge. You can use your phone charger, the phone charger plug you get with your smartphone. You can, you can plug this into that. In this bag, which is actually a battery bag for remote control cars, don't ask. Um, in here, I actually have a tripod. So this is a Manfrotto Pixie tripod. Um, this is really good for like, if I want to screw a light on top of here, or if I just want to put my camera down on the grass, but I don't actually want it to touch the grass. So I can put the camera on here, put it down on the, on the, on the ground, and you know, the camera won't actually touch the ground. Okay, and finally, this is my cleaning kit. Um, this is what I use to clean my, you know, my, my lenses and camera. Um, it's got these cleaning wipes. It's got a cleaning cloth in there. Um, you know, a brush, just bits and pieces like that to, you know, get the lens clean. You know, it's really good to have one of these lying around just when you need to, you know, give your, give your lenses, give your gear a little bit of TLC. Okay, and finally, finally, this is my camera bag. Um, this is the Temba BYB09 camera insert. So it's a camera bag of sorts. Um, the BYOB stands for bring your own bag and nine stands for nine inches because this is nine inches long. So the idea with this is that you put all your gear inside. So I put my camera there, my lenses, it's got a flap here so I can put you know, another lens in there, my microphone, um, you know, all the bits and pieces. You know, I can put everything in here. Got filters on the back, uh, SD cards on this side. I've got batteries on this side, you know, blah, 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 blah. Zip this up and then I can put this into a backpack and nobody would ever know that I'm carrying camera gear unless I guess they've seen this video. Um, this fits everything except for, uh, the, except for the cleaning kit and the tripod, but, but pretty much everything else fits in here. And I've got a bunch of like, you know, lens caps and blah, blah, blah up here. Okay, so that's the setup I use to film BMX racing on this channel. Um, it's a fairly minimalist setup, and that's intentional. I want my setup to be light, small, compact. You know, I don't want a huge camera or, you know, big lenses or anything like that. You know, I want my setup to be really portable so I can easily take it with me when I travel somewhere to film BMX racing. So, um, yeah, my setup is nice and portable, and that's exactly how I like it. So... If you want more BMX racing content in your subs feed, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later.